What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. This is one of, I guess, a video that's uh, one of the first ever that I'm going to actually illustrate a product that I developed. Uh, this is a second product I developed. I did develop the uh, Dirty Sauce for very difficult uh, windows, rear shrinking aid. Uh, but I know that those are, you know, that formulation is very, very slick. It's very, very effective on curvy windows like Chargers, Corvettes, Volkswagen Beetles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it it is a, a, a very specialized product. So I went ahead and developed a daily dirty, meaning for daily drivers, 99% of the cars that are a lot easier to uh, to a heat shrink, and that's pretty much 99% of the cars. I developed a daily dirty, and believe me, the ingredients on the daily and the dirty sauce are nowhere near uh, identical or even close or diluted or nothing. They're just two different things and my accumulation of being so many years in the uh, window film industry, I observed, I looked, I mimicked, I tried, I've done all kinds of shit with products and therefore I'm gonna go ahead and show you the very first ever video. Now, as you already know, uh, somebody might have a dial in on either a, a dryer sheet or a bar soap or any concoction of stuff that they might have, but there is a lot of new entrants in the marketplace and they're already asking, 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 asking all these questions about this and that. And let me tell you what, I have no control over the polyester, the distributors, the manufacturers, whatever they're using for their raw ingredients, being that more and more are being overseas products. So I'm finding within my own film that I source and whatever, uh, very different heat shrinking things with every single film. So if you are a user of X film and do it for 10 years, uh, keep in mind, I think I've read your post and whatever, like, hey, dirty, they, did they change the formula in this or whatever? Hey, I, I cannot tell them what to do. It is their bottom line. It is their way of reinventing, perhaps doing a better product, perhaps is that. And there's always going to be this time frame of they're going to find out whether it was a, a good idea or a bad idea. And you guys with your votes of saying yeah or nay are going to tell them your product sucks or your product is a million times better. Therefore, what I'm trying to say is that a lot of products, since I do not know what you use, this comes in 100% extremely handy because this one, whatever shit product you have and whatever this daily dirty sauce is going to help you do your shrink, I'm going to show it to you right here in front of your eyes. This is uh, one of my employees uh, uh, vehicles we already tinted it with good quality film, but that's uh, neither here nor there. What I'm going to do, this half of the window, untreated at all with nothing, some people do that and they say it works marvelously and whatever, but like I said, it all depends on whatever films you guys are using. I'm going to coat this window with a daily dirty, right in front of your eyes, no editing, no nothing. It's just going to go ahead and just to shrink and that's it. And then you see uh, how it works good or it doesn't work, okay? Just half. Pretty much it. Do it with your hands, nothing chemical or bullshit that's gonna cause you any problems. Just make sure like any other method that your window where you're gonna do the shrink is coated. That's pretty much it. Okay, so we'll leave it alone. And uh, let me get my thing here. I have my sample of film right here that I'm going to use and uh, like TJ Jones says, whip that fucker and we are going to whip that fucker right now. Okay, so
Okay, I, have, uh, I think you get an idea what's going on with the, uh, with the sauce and how it's gonna lay pretty much roll with it forward. Okay, let's go ahead and go to this side where I applied absolutely uh, no agent of nothing, a pure glass. Now, my employees are 100% soap bar users. And with this exact same film that I'm using, they have a lot of problems. Keep shrinking it uh, because it does not want to slide. And like I said, I have no control over the raw materials. The only thing I have control is what I put in my sauce. And uh, I tried a lot of different polyesters. And you're going to be surprised that this is no little bullshit in a fucking bottle. This is the real deal. And you can see that even though it's for daily cars and whatever, I know a lot of my brothers and sisters out there have these fucking problems. I know because I'm showing to you in front of you that there is a fucking problem, right? So that polyester or this polyester, I'm not gonna, they're not gonna tell me where it comes from. They got NDAs and whatever, just, you know, can't say, but look at all this. Don't move for fuck. I can put baby powder, which is great. A lot of the great people use it. What I don't like is because I do Cali roll stuff, the baby powder, as you already know, is a million pieces of fucking dust, you know, like whatever. So when you roll it, you're not gonna be able to take off the baby powder on the edges and whatever. So all these little mystery specs you get on the side of the windows and whatever, you gotta rethink whatever you're using. This chemical that I showed you, the dirty uh, daily uh, sauce, doesn't have any powder or this or none of that bullshit that's gonna hinder your great shrink, your great time you spend on a, pro on a project. And then when you roll it because of the dust or this or that, and the bounce, uh, or the uh, yeah the bounce and all those dryer sheet kind of things you can also use them i know that it's a little bit over far-fetched about the uh, the cancer and all that that they could cause but the same thing they said about uh, roundup and all that kind of stuff now you have a bunch of people with lawsuits and whatever about the, the product game and cancer and whatever so if you use uh, bounce dryer sheets for the next decade maybe nothing's going to happen to you or maybe yes i don't know i mean i'm not gonna tell you what you should do but what i do want to show you for sure that is 100 percent fact is that what i produce is pretty safe pretty good nothing to do it's just a lot of ingenuity of what i use and so here it is your sample of what a dirty sauce canner cannot do this film doesn't move and uh, i'm not even going to reveal the brand of the film it's it's all good doesn't matter it's a great film but the thing that it doesn't float with no aid. So you can use bar soap, you can use this, and then, oh, dirty, which kind of bar soap, and how much, and you know what? I just showed you with a daily dirty. You do your thing, you do that, and you're 100% good and ready to go. And let me just go ahead and, you know, check shrink that thing for you real quick. Check shrink only thing uh, is a fancy word meaning uh, is it gonna like withstand or I did a good uh, shrink job so you do that and you do this and you do this and if there's nothing else to shrink like in the surface where the film's gonna be at and there is nothing else to shrink no bubbles came up or whatever that that means that the shrink is appropriate and you can see whenever you're gonna do your shrink if you find some of these way at the bottom well these are pretty much not in the film but you can't kill them you know, like get rid of them like right now at this time. But that has nothing to do with the ability to solve. The solve that I showed you, daily dirty, half. This is your results. Nothing on it. Uh, bar soap, my employees use it like I mentioned. It sticks very similar like these areas. And then when they try to do this, they end up doing an internal crease like this. And then once we install it, we're spending five, six minutes like this with a torch on the outside and if the customer is picky enough they might pick up the ghosting of where the crease was or not so all i'm saying is that avoid all this bullshit by using something ingenious and now i don't mass produce or nothing the, the daily dirty it's something that i invented but if it has enough uh like uh demand and whatever that you saw something that you liked and i'm gonna give some free samples to my friends test drive it do all that kind of stuff and it, if it doesn't fucking blow your 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 socks off your feet and whatever off your shoes and whatever then you don't have to buy it but if it does give me a shout out let me know and i'll do something else 
ship it, mass produce it, do whatever you guys want. Guys, have a great day. GoPro, stop recording.